earlier, you've got several options, your cricket, your football, your cars, and my dad was a car racer back in the day, so I was fairly blessed as a kid. I got to spend a lot of time at the racetrack. My time with my dad was the time at the track. I had the best of both worlds. I got into cars um, late, effectively, uh, so I spent a lot of time pushing my dad's race car, helping him run. I started go-karts 17 odd. I've always loved little cars and I got into a friend's RX2, exactly the same colour, a four-door sedan with a, a, a 13B engine and it was an absolute missile. The noise, the, the smell, it smelt like fuel, it smelt like you'd just uh, spilt 20 litres in the interior and the, the speed was enthralling, it was, it was unbelievable. I'm Jason and I drive a Mazda RX2 1971 model. In 2002 I purchased the car and it was a rolling shell, no componentry on it. Uh, it hadn't run for probably 20 years and it was a mess, it was a basket case. It was flat black had bright yellow wheels and um, proceeded to spend the next three years building it. Rebuilt everything from scratch, got some really good help along the way. Uh, we painted it in the original colour, Herschel orange, it's what the car came with so I wanted to be fairly true to the car itself and to the era. It's a, um, yeah, it's a real genuine take on what the car should have been in the day to fit with the class rules that we, we run under. like to, we race against GT Falcons, Camaros, Mustangs, GT Capris, all sorts of stuff from 65 to 72. I first raced the car in 2005, in the middle of, uh, and every time it comes in the car goes up on the hoist, uh, I pull a fair chunk of componentry off, I clean it all, I wire wheel the bolts, I uh, re-lube everything, um, I polish the paint on the top the inside, the underside. So I'm, I'm, I'm fairly invested in making sure that you can spot oil leaks, that you can see if something's been knocked, if you've, uh, you know, I've got a fair bit of mechanical sympathy and I like to know what's happening with my car. So I feel by keeping it clean, as, as much as it's for, for uh, vanity or for appearance reasons, you can really get a feel for what your car's trying to tell you or what's occurred to your car by checking the nicks, the bumps, the leaks, the, the dirt. That's probably why I'm so fussy about it. I just, I just like it to be right and I like to know exactly what's going on with it. A lot of guys that do like the old car racing come up and show some appreciation for the car. It's always nice and clean. It's always up mixing it with the bigger cars. of the guys in our category have raced at Bathurst, have raced touring cars. They're people I've looked up to over the years as well and so to mix with them, guys of that ilk to race with is, is pretty exciting. It's probably not the best handling car in the field. It certainly isn't the best stopping car and it doesn't make the most power but the car, the car really talks to me and lets me talk to it. We race pretty hard. We race door handle to door handle and I don't think it's fair for the car to be expected to be perfect at all times. So I'm starting to now embrace the fact that it might have a battle scar or two. When you consider that it's just a, an inanimate object, it, it, it is metal and rubber and 
some stitching around the steering wheel. It's more than that. It's, it, it, is, it is something that uh, you give it a chance and you treat it with the, the respect that it needs. The car will become something more to you than that.